I think we need to talk about internet browsers. Safari, Chrome, Firefox. We're getting continuous and continuous updates with the slightest of improvements, only to always end up looking like this every single time. But wait, last week I was watching a video of linking your thinking. Video is down below. And today I think that browsing actually became fun again. Welcome back to Trev Explains, where today we're gonna explore something very new. And I would like you to follow me on my desktop here. Right here, you can see a little icon. It's called Arc. Let's have a look at what we have here. I'm gonna open this for you guys. Um, and you can see, okay, we have a Mac application. We're on some kind of white page and we have this weird looking, well, toolbar on the left side. Well, we t talked about browsers, so apparently this is a browser. We are in Arc Browser from the browser company that is sitting in New York City, and they have taken browsers to a slightly different level, to a different level where I had to say, okay, I'm gonna make a video about this because I was shocked. Today I was whitelisted, it's the first time I'm using this. Uh, I've worked with this for only one single day, and I'm already sold. This is my new standard browser for now. Um, and I would like you to come along with me and to discover some of the nerd type functionalities that we have in here. Before we dive into what makes Arc so special and what separates it from the rest, I would like to give the other browsers some justice and just compare. So please follow me here on the screen and I'll just show you some of the very basic tools and basic functions that you find here that you will also find in every other browser. So of course we can just type our search query here at the top. Let's just say hello, maybe we add a little h there and uh, just hit enter. And as you can see here, I get my normal search results. I have Google as a search engine installed right now, but Arc comes pre-installed with all of the major search engines. There's Bing, there's Yahoo, DuckDuckGo, maybe Ecosia. All those things are optional. So in case you would like to choose them, you can just switch them in the settings. But now we can already see the first small design difference. And you can see here on the left hand side that my tab that I just opened appears on the left in this toolbar. And this toolbar is actually something I would like to dive into right now. Um, we see we can add a new tab here, for example, the same goes with shortcut uh, command T. And then we would add something else. So let's say we search for a sun. Um, then the sun opens and you see we have a new tab again on the left side. But what you can also see is there are is a sort of other section that is divided by some um, small divider. And those are so-called pin, pin tabs. So this is basically your bookmark. Say for some reason I would like to look at the sun every day. All I'm doing is dragging and dropping, dropping it right here. And now whenever I open the browser, this tab will be pinned right here. There are a couple of special tabs um, that you can uh, see up here in form of buttons. Right now we have Google Mail and we have Twitter. And those are even more special because, well, they just appear in a, in a different way and they sync across your different spaces. Now we're gonna talk about spaces in just a second because one thing is very important about Arc, which makes it uh, really different. And that is that it tries to declutter your browser. We've seen it at the beginning, endless browser tabs open and open and open, and we never close them because we think for some reason we might still need them. But honestly, we don't. And most of the times we never open them, them again. Me personally, when I'm in university, I always have my big research projects. And then after three uh, weeks of working, I'm opening all my five browsers and I'm closing 27 tabs in each of them. This kind of gets 
um, avoided here in Arc. So those tabs that we have here on the left hand side, they will clear automatically. Uh, the standard I think for that is 12 hours, but you can set it up to one week, I think, or even one month. Um, so that means the next time you open your browser, it will be cleared of all the search results you had before. Of course, there is a history, but you won't um, see it here in your interface. Let's talk about spaces, which I just mentioned. Um, you can see these li three little icons down here. My little uh, lightning and then this, um, well, planet and, uh, and the sheets. Let's just click on the planet. And as you can see, the color changes, which is very nice. But also you can see change in C up here. My space has changed. And now my pin tabs differ and also my open tabs differ. That means I can create multiple profiles, or in that case, spaces, where I organize my tabs accordingly. So I can organize one into private, like I have here. I can organize one for, in this case, a YouTube channel. I could also add another one for my work. I'm not going to disclose this here right now, but um, that is very easy and very conveniently organized, which is great. Um, let's see, what other features do we have? There is a very interesting way of doing screenshots here. Um, so we can hover across our toolbar right here and then click on the uh, little camera icon and it tells us capture a portion of this page. Now let's do that. And as you can see, as I scroll over the page, certain things are kind of pre-selected for me. So say I want to capture all those pictures here. I just snap it and then this screenshot was done for me. So the, the screenshot selection box is very intuitive, but it goes beyond that. Of course, I can save it to my library. I can copy it or um, retake it, but I can also edit it. So if I go here, I could say, oh, maybe I want to um, make sure that everyone looks at the sun on the left. That's why I draw a, an arrow. And then also the third one is very important because it smiles so nicely. Um, and now I have kind of edited my photo, you can see, and then I can go ahead and save it. Let's close this and then continue with something else. Another feature that we have is the split view. Let's open it. We're on our page about the sun and now we can open the menu with command T or by clicking here. And then all we do is type add. We see the option here to add a split view or to add a vertical split view, but I'm gonna go with the previous one now. I click that and then I can type any search query that I want or any URL. How about the moon? So let me click on the moon. And as you can see, I have both my websites here fully accessible so that I compare can compare them to each other. That is very helpful, for example, if I would like to write an article and I'm collecting notes from a book or from a journal, so I can line up both within my browser. There's some other tools though that I would like to show. Let me quickly close this right here. And then what we can do is we can open a new easel. Easel is kind of like a fast editor kind of thing for annotations. We've already seen it with the screenshots that if I'm not mistaken, we can also add an exit here, nope. But you can, well, just upload any kind of picture here. But let's say I wanna add a, a text um, and I would like to add a circle around it. Then I can do that right here. And from here I draw a an arrow and some, well, some line. And this is very easily done, quickly done, all in the browser. And from here, I can share it. I can share it privately. I can share it with anyone and then just copy the link. What there is as well is a so-called note. Let me open a note here. And this might look very familiar to you if you're a Notion enthusiast. But let's give this a title. Let's say, hi. And then here I can just paste my text. What I can also do with the little plus icon, I can format. 
so I can say uh, maybe here I would like a a h2 you know a headline or I would uh, like to change this to a h3 then the text gets a little bit smaller as you can also see I would be able to add pictures or links or highlight part of my text and then make it bold again just like with the easel I can just go ahead here and share this note with anyone I think that's very easily approachable um, From here, we can navigate to the bottom left where we have this little icon. And as you can see, this opens my past taking screenshots. And I can also click here and view my whole library. Here I see a list of downloads. I can access general, the, generally the media. This is in this case is my, I think, download folder. Um, I can also access all my easels and notes that we've just seen. And I can have an overview of my spaces. All right, so that was a little tour through Arc, the browser I've been testing today. A couple of things that I think are still very worth mentioning are that the browser right now is only accessible through a waitlist on macOS. So there's no Windows version and also no my mobile version. What is nice though is that the browser is built on Chromium. So all your um, Google Chrome extensions will also work in Arc which is nice to extend the functionality of your browser. What I personally appreciate is the idea of this browser company to kind of really give me a lot of customization. So it's very user friendly. You can change colors and styles and you can give everything little names and it all has like little animations. So in terms of usage, I am very happy and quite entertained to be honest. Another nice feature is a, a in-house or in-browser ad blocker. So if you're watching YouTube videos and so on and so forth, or if you're just browsing the internet, you won't be spammed with, with ads that you don't want. Fortunately, you can turn it off. So say you that is exactly what you're searching for and you like to see what, what Google uh, suggests you as an ad, then you can turn that feature off. Um, I think that as far as, as security and stuff goes, we can by now only trust what the, the company says. Of course, it claims some certain level of advanced security. So far, I haven't had any problems. I think that also the idea of you owning your data and them not, not having any access to that kind of contributes to that. But we'll have to see how, how it looks when, when this browser scales. Overall, I'd say that um, you should definitely give this a try. Uh, try signing up for the waitlist on Arc and, and just uh, play around it with yourself. Get accustomed to it and then give it some time because I think that this really has a nice edge over many of the other browsers that I have been using and that I am aware of. That is everything I can say about the Arc browser after one single day. I'm very excited to see where the journey will go. And I hope you are too, but maybe, maybe you're not. So please let me know in the comments. Maybe you're some Chrome Ultra. I'm sure we can have a nice discussion about which browser is best in the comments. Leave a like if you liked it, or maybe even subscribe to the channel if you haven't. We're very happy to have you here next time as well and wish you a wonderful day. Thank you and bye bye.